BrainWise presents Grade 6 Math Quiz B Part 3 Let's get those math brains warmed up. Easy questions first. Solve them mentally or grab a pen. Your choice. Let's go! Easy round. Number one. You're making a scale model of the Eiffel Tower. The actual Eiffel Tower is 324 meters tall. Your model is 1 over 10,800 of the actual size. How tall is your model in centimeters? Again, you're making a scale model of the Eiffel Tower. The actual Eiffel Tower is 324 meters tall. Your model is 1 over 10,800 of the actual size. How tall is your model in centimeters? A. 30 centimeter. B. 3 centimeter. C. 0 0.3 centimeter. D. 300 centimeter. The correct answer is B, 3 centimeters. Number 2. You're deciphering a secret code where numbers represent letters. The code goes 1, 5, 13, 29, 61, blank. What number comes next? Again, you're deciphering a secret code where numbers represent letters. The code goes 1, 5, 13, 29, 61, blank. What number comes next? A, 121, B, 97, C, 125, D, 89. The correct answer is C, 125. Number three. You're designing a backyard obstacle course. The course is in the shape of a rectangle 12 meters long and 8 meters wide. You want to put a safety border 1 meter wide around the outside of the whole course. What's the total area of the obstacle course, including the safety border? Again, you're designing a backyard obstacle course. The course is in the shape of a rectangle 12 meters long and 8 meters wide. You want to put a safety border 1 meter wide around the outside of the whole course. What's the total area of the obstacle course, including the safety border? A. 96 square meters B. 132 square meters C. 140 square meters D. 116 square meters The correct answer is C. 140 square meters. Number 4. You're playing a video game where you earn points for completing quests. You know two-thirds of your friend's score is equal to three-fifths of your score. If your friend has 45 points, how many points do you have? Again, you're playing a video game where you earn points for completing quests. You know two-thirds of your friend's score is equal to three-fifths of your score. If your friend has 45 points, how many points do you have? A. 30 B. 27 C. 54 D. 50 The correct answer is D. 50 Number 5 You're designing a logo for your YouTube channel the logo is in the shape of a triangle, with angles measuring 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 75 degrees. What kind of triangle is it? Again, you're designing a logo for your YouTube channel. The logo is in the shape of a triangle, with angles measuring 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 75 degrees. What kind of triangle is it? A. Right triangle B. Acute triangle C. Obtuse triangle D. Scalene triangle The 
correct answer is B, a cute triangle. Nailed those first few. Fantastic. Get ready. Things are about to get real. Average round. Number one. You're competing in a math competition. To earn a point, you need to simplify the expression. The quantity of 5 squared minus 3 cubed divided by 8 plus 2 all multiplied by 4 squared. Again, you're competing in a math competition. To earn a point, you need to simplify the expression. The quantity of 5 squared minus 3 cubed divided by 8 plus 2 all multiplied by 4 squared. A 36 B 18 C 64 D 31 and 3 quarters. The correct answer is D, 31 and 3 quarters. Number 2. You're making slime and need to get the right ratio of ingredients. The ratio of glue to borax is 3 to 1, and the ratio of borax to water is 2 to 5. If you use 15 milliliters of water, how much glue do you need? Again, you're making slime and need to get the right ratio of ingredients. The ratio of glue to borax is 3 to 1, and the ratio of borax to water is 2 to 5. If you use 15 milliliters of water, how much glue do you need? A. 15 milliliters B. 9 milliliters C. 18 milliliters D. 5 milliliters The correct answer is C, 18 milliliters. Number three, you're building a zip line in your backyard. The zip line starts on a platform six meters high and ends at a tree eight meters away. How long is the zip line cable? Again, you're building a zip line in your backyard. The zip line starts on a platform six meters high and ends at a tree eight meters away. How long is the zip line cable? A. 12 meters B. 14 meters C. 10 meters D. 8 meters The correct answer is C, 10 meters. Number four, you're training for a marathon. You run eight kilometers at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour, and then another 10 kilometers at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. What's your average speed for the entire training run? Again, you're training for a marathon. You run eight kilometers at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour, and then another 10 kilometers at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. What's your average speed for the entire training run? A. 11 kilometers per hour. B. 10 and a half kilometers per hour. C. 10.8 kilometers per hour. D. 11 and a half kilometers per hour. Correct answer is C, 10.8 kilometers per hour. Number five, you're playing a board game where you roll two dice. To win the game, you need to roll a sum that's a prime number. 
What's the probability of rolling a prime number on your next turn? Again, you're playing a board game where you roll two dice. To win the game, you need to roll a sum that's a prime number. What's the probability of rolling a prime number on your next turn? A. 1 half B. 1 third C. 5 twelfths D. 7 twelfths The correct answer is C, 5 twelfths. Crushing it so far. Think you can handle what's next? This is where legends are made. Bring it on. Difficult round. Number one, you're selling lemonade at a stand. You make the lemonade by mixing water and lemon juice in a ratio of four to one. You start with one liter of lemon juice. After selling some lemonade, you realize you have 2.5 liters of lemonade left. How much lemonade did you sell? Again, you're selling lemonade at a stand. You make the lemonade by mixing water and lemon juice in a ratio of four to one. You start with one liter of lemon juice. After selling some lemonade, you realize you have 2.5 liters of lemonade left. How much lemonade did you sell? A. 1 liter B. 1.5 liters C. 2.5 liters D. 2 liters The correct answer is C, 2.5 liters. Number two, you're creating a treasure hunt with clues involving fractions, decimals, and percentages. The first clue leads to a location that's one fourth of the way between your house and the park. The second clue leads to a spot 0.6 of the way from the first location to the park. If the distance between your house and the park is one kilometer, how far is the treasure from your house in meters? Again, you're creating a treasure hunt with clues involving fractions, decimals, and percentages. The first clue leads to a location that's one-fourth of the way between your house and the park. The second clue leads to a spot 0.6 of the way from the first location to the park. If the distance between your house and the park is one kilometer, how far is the treasure from your house in meters? A. 600 meters B. 700 meters C. 850 meters D. 900 meters The correct answer is C, 850 meters. Number three, you're playing a game where you have to solve riddles to escape a room. The riddle says, I am a two digit number. The product of my digits is 20. If you subtract nine from me, you get a new number with my digits reversed. What number am I? Again, you're playing a game where you have to solve riddles to escape a room. The riddle says, I am a two-digit number. The product of my digits is 20. If you subtract nine from me, you get a new number with my digits reversed. What number am I? A, 45, B, 54, C, 21, D, 12.
The correct answer is B54. Number 4. You're analyzing data from a class election. 40% of the class voted for the first candidate, 35% voted for the second candidate, and the remaining 15 students voted for the third candidate. How many students are in the class? Again, you're analyzing data from a class election. 40% of the class voted for the first candidate, 35% voted for the second candidate, and the remaining 15 students voted for the third candidate. How many students are in the class? A, 40. B, 50. C, 60. D, 70. The correct answer is C60. Number five. You have a bag of marbles with five red, four blue, and three green marbles. You draw three marbles at random. What's the probability that you draw at least two red marbles? Again, you have a bag of marbles with five red, four blue, and three green marbles. You draw three marbles at random. What's the probability that you draw at least two red marbles? A. 1 fourth. B. 5 twelfths. C. 17 40 fourths. D. 9 20 seconds. The correct answer is C, 1744s. That's a wrap. No matter your score, keep learning and growing. Share your score, challenge your friends, and let's spread the math love. Did you enjoy the quiz? What's your score? Comment it below. If you want more of these content, leave a like and share this with your friends. You may subscribe to the channel as well. Check out other videos from BrainWise.